بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ایم فرام لاہور پاکستان اینڈ آئی ٹیچ آئلس ان لاہور اینڈ آئی آلسو ٹیچ آئلس اینی ویئر ان دا ورلڈ آن لائن تھرو اسکائپ اور تھرو واٹس ایپ آئی ویلکم یو ونس اگین ٹو مائی آئلس لسننگ ویڈیو دا پرپز آف دس ویڈیو آئلس گائڈ از ٹو گائڈ یو اینڈ ٹو بی یور گائڈ رائٹ اینڈ یو آر دا ٹورسٹ and uh, the target is maximum band scores in listening you know some of you require eight triple seven so eight bands eight bands will come like this the way i'm teaching you if you follow my instructions you will be able to get eight bands as well and those who want six bands seven bands they can benefit from these videos as well anyways the question type which we are going to start today that is multiple choice and we call it uh, choose the correct letter a b c it's basically multiple choice there's a statement and then there are three options sometimes the statement is incomplete sentence and three options can complete that very statement sometimes the statement is a question with three answers so it can be anyways now let's take a look at the questions you can see We've got questions here like 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 25 and all the questions got three options and all that stuff, right? So this is the type of questions. Task guide for multiple choice with single answer. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to rather guide you actually about multiple choice with single answer. Out of three options, you got to choose one option. Uh, this task requires you to choose the correct answer to each question from three possible answers. There are three possible answers and you got to choose one answer from there. There may be between one and ten questions. At times, you know, listening test is full of multiple choice. One of my students, he appeared in his eyes listening and then he came back and said, Sir, every section had multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice and that was so difficult and I was unable to get good bands, okay? So anyways, you need to master multiple choice. If there is more multiple choice, you are happy. So it can be like one question or there can be 10 questions or even there can be more than 10 questions as well if you are unlucky or if you've got a bad day, then this happens. IELTS depends on luck as well. Sometimes listening test is easy, reading is difficult. Sometimes listening is very difficult, reading, it, reading is easy. Sometimes both are easy and if you are unlucky, both are very difficult. So it depends on luck as well, okay? Anyways, uh, we've got task guide. So this task requires you to choose the correct answer to each question from three possible answers you know that already there may be between one and ten questions i told you the questions follow the order of the recording definitely within each questions you may hear reference to the three options in any order now you might hear the reference of all three options and they can be in any order now for example options are a b c in the audio they will give the reference of c first then they will give the reference of B. So you should move your eyes between options A, B, C. Move your eyes. Say, okay, now he's talking about B. Now he's talking about C. Now he's talking about A. Oh, he's talking about A positively. That's the right answer. Like that, okay? Yeah. If you realize you have missed a question, don't try to remember it. Don't try to put your mind there. Okay, he had said that. I'll remember that. That will impact your performance on the next question. If you miss an answer, forget about it and then you can guess it. A, B, C, oh, A, B, C, kite gai C and all that stuff, okay? So, you know, like, you know, sometimes we say, okay, there are three options. One, two, three, I'll count up to 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I should select C. <laughs> Something like that you can play at the end. I mean, just don't leave it blank because there is no negative marking in IELTS. If you realize you have missed a question, don't try to remember it, but move on and make sure you do not miss the next questions. And this is how you miss question after question after question, right? A ball comes, you miss it, right? And then you start looking, where is the ball? Another comes on your face and you miss that too. And you're just doing like that. Another comes on your face and then you say, multiple choice is such a nightmare for me i don't understand multiple choice i don't know what to do this happens when you are panic 
when you are terrified, when, when you don't know what to do, oh my God, I missed a question, then you miss all the questions. So if you miss a question, don't worry about that, just let it go. Multiple choice questions vary considerably in terms of complexity. Some are simple, some are complex. If multiple choice comes in section 1, it's going to be easier. Options are going to be shorter. If it comes in section 3, section 4, it's going to be complex, it's going to be difficult. Options are longer. Okay, yes. In section 1, they ask you to listen for relatively straightforward facts, I told you. But in section 3 and section 4, the questions will test your understanding of opinions, feelings, evidence, argument and so on. So these four things, it's basically understanding of opinions, feelings, evidence, arguments right yes in section three and four if multiple choice comes there otherwise if it comes in section one there are three times 10 a.m 10 30 a.m 11 a.m out of three you got to choose one do not immediately choose an option simply because you hear the same word or words on the recording it can be a trap also i mean you heard something in the recordings oh yeah that's 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 what they're saying and you select it as an answer and then later on you realize that oh actually we wanted to start it on 21st of April but then we changed the date the new date is 27th of April something like that okay so they can change and they test your ability whether you can differentiate right information among the wrong information as well or not it is your understanding of the meaning of the whole question that is tested here. So I think now you are crystal clear about multiple choice. In task guide, I told you about multiple choice, the type of questions, how you got to listen to the audio and don't worry, we'll practice that as well. Step by step guide. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to actually guide you about multiple choice in listening. Step one, think first. You got to use your brains. So it is very important that you read the question carefully. You got to read the questions carefully. It's very, very important. And when you read the questions, you got to underline the important details as well. The stems of some questions for example, question number 21 and 22 are partial sentences. Stem means the partial sentences to be completed by the possible answers while the stems of others are complete questions. As I told you before, some, some statements will be incomplete sentences and some statements will be questions and then there will be three possible answers there. Step 2 watch out for possible dangers now we see what are the dangers you got to watch out for possible dangers uh, for example question number one for example question number one we've got uh, this question number one the question consists of two parts before giving her presentation and kate was worried about so you can say before giving her presentation kate was worried about so she was worried about something before giving her presentation if she is worried about now or she is worried about after the presentation that is not going to be the answer and this is the danger right so let's see you hear kate say what worried her during or after the presentation not before her presentation and choose the wrong answer so if she says before my presentation i was really worried about Right, so that's what you got to see before giving her presentation, Kate was worried about. And she says, after the presentation, I was really worried about, that is going to be the trap, that will not be the right answer. So you got to see what she was worried about before her presentation. You hear Kate say what she was looking forward to, not what she was worried about before the presentation. And choose the wrong answer. Got it? Yes, exactly. So you hear another speaker, not Kate, say what he or she was worried about before his or her presentation. Another problem. There can be another lady, there can be another girl, not Kate, there can be Julia. And she says, oh yes, I was also worried about, but your question is during, your question is before giving her presentation, Kate was worried about. So you got to find the answer about Kate and you got to find it out what was Kate worried about not any other person in the audio. So these are the dangers and you got to be careful about that. 
So you hear another speaker, not Kate, say what he or she was worried about before his or her presentation and choose the wrong answer. Be careful with that. Step three, consider the possibilities. You got to consider the possibilities. Look at the tape script for question 21 and answer the question below about options A, B or C. You got to see which option is going to be correct one. Transcript. I was ever so nervous beforehand. It's silly because I do know my stuff quite well. She says I was ever so nervous beforehand. It's silly because I do know my stuff quite well. I must know those statistics inside out. Now what are the options? Before giving a presentation, Kate was worried about being asked difficult questions, using the projection equipment, explaining statistical results. Now she says here, I must know those statistics inside out, but when you have to get each table of results to come up in the right order, it can make you nervous. That's what she says and that is what happens during the presentation, not before the presentation. And that is not about what she was worried about. That is the general statement that this happens. They say here, I must know those statistics inside out, but when you have to get each table of results to come up in the right order, it can make you nervous means not her. It's a general statement. Now she is saying general statement to confuse us. This is the danger. It was my first time using the computerized projector and I was sure I was going to get to control wrong or something. I was sure. Now she was nervous about what? About computerized projector and I was sure I was going to get the controls wrong or something and of course that's not a good situation. If you know you've got to listen to questions carefully and be ready to answer quickly. Now she says uh, and of course that's not a good situation if you know you've got to listen to questions carefully and be ready to answer quickly that is uh, actually being asked difficult questions but it's actually not she was worried about they mentioned it but actually she was not worried about before giving her presentation she was only worried about using the projection equipment and she says here it was my first time using the computerized projector and i was sure i was going to get the controls wrong or something so that was her worry got it it is confusing i know it's quite confusing but now you understand how much confusing it is and how it is confusing once you know how it is confusing then you can overcome that now try the task okay now i'm gonna play the audio and i give you some time to find the answers there are five questions one question we did and now four questions are left be careful of the dangers listen to the audio carefully you can repeat the audio as well doesn't matter but once you get back to me make sure you found all the answers i wish you all the best good luck see you soon with the answer key now turn to section three section three you will hear two university students discussing their course and a project they are doing together. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen to the first part of the conversation and answer questions 21 to 25. Hi, Martin. Hi, Kate. How are you? Fine. I'm relieved to have done my presentation. I'm sure. How did it go? Oh, OK in the end, but I was ever so nervous beforehand. It's silly because I do know my stuff quite well. I must know those statistics inside out. But when you have to get each table of results to come up in the right order, it can make you nervous. Mm. It was my first time using the computerised projector, and I was sure I was going to get the controls wrong or something. And, of course, that's not a good situation if you know you've got to listen to questions carefully and be ready to answer quickly. But it was fine once you got going? Yes. I do feel that the standard of presentations could be improved in general. 
I think a lot of the lecturers agree with me, although I don't honestly know what they can be expected to do about it. Students need to appreciate the difference between style and content. Too many presentations are just a mass of detailed content, all very worthy, without any attempt to engage people's interest. Basic things like looking at your audience's faces seem to get forgotten, and that makes it harder to concentrate on the points made about the research itself. Yes, there are quite a few improvements I'd like to see. Take tutorials, for example. I feel they're often a missed opportunity. I come out not feeling sure about what I've learnt. Week in, week out, I faithfully plow through the reading list, which is fair enough. But then the discussion doesn't seem to extract the main issues. It's frustrating.、Mm, I know what you mean. Mind you, we have to take some responsibility ourselves. I actually got quite a lot from that skills workshop I went to on taking notes, and I'd like to make similar improvements in the next semester.、Mm. The reading list we get has several websites each time, and I want to learn to navigate my way round them more effectively. Now that sounds a good idea. Mind you, it means spending more time in the library. If you can get in. You mean because it's too crowded? It isn't big enough, is it? Well, I don't know. I mean, I like to work late in the evening, and it shuts before I want to finish. But I know you can access the catalogue from a laptop. Which personally, I haven't got. Actually, the problem for me is that I like to get up early and start work straight away, and they don't start until nine. I wish they'd change that. Welcome to the answer key. How was that? Huh? <laughs> okay, but at least you are getting better and you are familiar now. You are familiar with the dangers and with the problems and all that. So, question number twenty-one. The answer is B, and we had already discussed that. Now, let's go on with question number twenty-two. What's your answer? Mm-hmm. The correct answer is C. You chose C. Wow! Amazing. You couldn't choose C. Come on! All right. I'll tell you why. See that the statement says during many presentations by students. Marine feels that now it's about Marine and what does she feel? And there are three options. The discussion of research methods is not detailed enough. During many presentations by students, Marine feels that. Okay. B. Lecturers do not show enough interest in the in their students' work. And C. The student does not make enough eye contact with the audience. They will talk about all three, but they will recommend one only. Let's see that. So, question number twenty-two. Let's see.、Uh, note: Martin outlines that he has a negative view of the presentation. Martin starts the talk and says, "The standard of presentations could be improved." Option A is not the answer. What is that? The discussion of research methods is not detailed enough. So it's actually not that. It's the standard of presentations could be improved. Option A is not the answer. In fact, the discussion of research is too detailed. That's what he says. Option B is not the answer. Martin appears to sympathize with the lecturers, although I don't honestly know what they can be expected to do about it. Now the second is lecturers do not show enough interest in their students' work, and he says although I don't honestly know what they can be expected to do about it. Option C is the correct answer because students don't make any attempt to engage people's interest by looking at your audience's face. That's what they say. So the correct answer is going to be C. And that is the student does not make enough eye contact with the audience. Question number twenty-three. What's your answer? Twenty-three is what is Kate's opinion of the tutorials she attends? What is your answer? C again? Yes. Well done. The correct answer is C. They do not have a clear focus. They talk about focus here. Now let's see why C. Is the right answer C? Okay. Note: Kate shows that she has a negative view of tutorial. They are often a missed opportunity. So she's got a negative opinion about the tutorial, and she says it's often a missed opportunity. Opinion A is not the answer. The reading list is fair enough. That's what she says in the audio. So option A we rule out. There they say actually. 
Uh, what is Kate's opinion of the tutorials she attends? They involve too much preparation. No, they don't talk about that. Option B is not the answer. We are simply told that tutorials happen every week. Option B, they should be held more frequently. But already they are held more frequently. That's why that's not the problem. What is Kate's opinion of the tutorials she attends? Right? Option C is the correct answer. If the discussion doesn't seem to extract the main issue, then there isn't a clear focus. I repeat, if the discussion doesn't seem to extract the main issue, then there isn't a clear focus and the answer is they do not have a clear focus. So option C will be the right answer. Let's go on. Question number 24. What does Martin intend to do next semester? Martin. Right, we talked about Kate, we talked about Martin now. So what does Martin intend to do next semester? What does he intend to do in the next semester? Three options. A. Make better use of the internet. B. Improve his note-taking skills. C. Prioritize reading lists effective, effectively. All right. So what's your answer? Huh? A. Good. Correct answer is A. And those who wrote B or C, I'm sorry. The correct answer for question number 24 is A. Let's see how. There they say 24. We are told Martin wants to make and then improvements. Next semester, that is option B is not the answer. He's already done that. So option B is improve his note taking skills. He has already done that. She so doesn't need that. Okay. Then we go on. Option C is not the answer. Martin talks about his reading lists, but he doesn't mention prioritizing them. So he talks about his reading lists, but he doesn't talk about prioritizing them. So option C is prioritize reading lists effectively. So it's not option C. Then option A is the correct answer. He says he wants to learn to navigate my way around them. Websites on the internet. Them means websites on the internet more effectively. He actually says to learn to navigate my way around them. Them means website referencing. Good example of that on the internet more effectively. And that is option A. Make better use of the internet. Got it? Yes. So what we do, we think it's going to be very simple. Internet will come there. Then it is A. If there is going to be a uh, note taking skill, it is B. If there is going to be uh, prioritized reading, it is C. It's not that. You got to listen and understand and then you got to decide what are they talking about. Okay, question number 25. What problem do Kate and Martin both have? Now they might talk about one's problem, Martin's problem or Kate's problem and their problem together. Be careful of dangers in IELTS listening multiple choice yes what problem do Kate and Martin both have when they uh, when using the library now when they use the library what problem do they both have what is your answer huh huh say it loudly a once again a well done well done a is the correct answer the opening hours are too short that's right those of you who selected B or C as an answer, don't say, ah, uh, how? Go back, listen to the audio again, and you'll get to know how. Anyways, let's just read the description. Note, Martin and Kate both have problems with the library. The question requires you to identify the problem they both describe, not their individual problem. The problem they both describe, option B is not the answer. Kate raises this point, but Martin says, I don't know. Right, so option B actually, uh, there are too few desks to work at. There are too few desks to work at and he says, I don't know, you got to see their common problem, the problem that is faced by Kate and Martin. Okay, uh, option B is not the answer. Option C is not the answer. Martin mentions the catalog but doesn't say it is difficult to use because option C is the catalog is difficult to use. So he talks about catalog but he doesn't say it is difficult to use, right? So that's why it's not the answer. Option A is the correct answer. The library closes too soon for Martin and opens too late for Kate, right? open and close that is all about timing 
they both want it to be open for longer it should open early in the morning and it should stay open late at night or late in the evening that's why the opening hours are too short opening hours means the time duration when something remains open if it is 9 to 5 9 to 5 is opening hours so they think the opening hours are too short got it okay thank you very much indeed uh, see now I'm with you and this is what I can do for you and I'm doing it for you if you like this video hit on the like button subscribe my channel turn on the notification so whenever I upload a video there'll be done and you'll get my video and I want you to be the first one to like my video to comment on my video and don't forget to comment as well because through your comments I will decide what to do next and I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. I teach on Skype or WhatsApp and these are paid classes. And I'll teach you IELTS myself. Reading, writing, listening, speaking, no problem. I'll help you out with that. Asad Yaqub wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.